Hi, my name is Kaylin Womack and I'm a staff writer at The Root. This weekend, I'm taking you to Vermont Vista, Los Angeles to explore the story of Latasha Harlins on this episode of Small Town Horrors. 15-year-old Latasha Harlins was sent to the corner store by her mom. After walking into Empire Liquor Market on 91st Street and Figaro Avenue, she went to the refrigerator section and picked up a $1.79 bottle of orange juice. After briefly putting the bottle in her bag, she walked toward the cash register and pulled her money out to pay. Despite her having money in hand, the cashier, Soon Ja Du, missed a glimpse of the cash and accused Harlins of stealing merchandise. Surveillance cameras show that Du grabbed Harlins' hair and banged her head on the counter while grabbing the bottle from her bag. Harlins then threw a few punches at Du and tried to escape her grasp. Du then threw a stool at her as she tried to make it toward the exit of the store. However, Du grabbed her gun and fired a shot at the back of Harlan's head, killing her instantly. Du's husband, who was sleeping in a van outside, rushed in after hearing the shot. Du fainted in her husband's arms, and he called 911 to report an attempted robbery. Police didn't find any evidence that Harlan's was shoplifting, and Du was found guilty of manslaughter. Du faced 16 years in prison, but was only sentenced to five years probation. The tension in the black community around the case was already heightened because of the Rodney King beating by LAPD officers. Just days after Harlins was killed, the officers in the King's beating were acquitted. As a result of the tensions between black people and Korean American merchants, Du's store was looted and burned to the ground. Harlins' death is remembered as one of the sparks of the LA riots, and she's been referenced in music from the time, including Tupac's Keep Your Head Up and many other songs in his discography. Tune in next weekend to see what small town horror we visit next at theroot.com.